What's up, YouTube? Slocks coming at you with another video. A lot of you guys out there probably know me as an MC, a poet, but if you actually know the artist side to me is that uh, I actually paint. So I come, I'm coming to you live from the kitchen showing you uh, a couple things that I cooked up. But first, let me get into my style of art that I do. I do light-based art, but it's not black light. It uses regular light. And... With that technique, you know, once you put the paint into the light, it allows a different image to transition. I started off by calling the technique Ghost Stories. Uh, later on, you know, probably playing around with the title of Luminescence Paintings. But um, I'm going to just go ahead and get into it so uh, you can guys can see what I'm talking about. Alright? First piece is a tribute piece to the roots. And as you can see on the front, we got the drums. We got the bass, we got the microphone, and go ahead and uh, hit that light for me. All right. And now, when the paint is lit up, you can actually see the band members of the roots. You know what I'm saying? We got Black Thought, Quest Love, Belief B, Dice Raw in the background. All right. Go ahead and hit the lights. All right. Get into the next one which is a meditation type theme piece we got here. You know, you got the lady, you know, uh, meditating, and you know, you got the flowers and everything in the background, but what I try to do with this one is to create the illusion of movement in that the eyes open, the flowers bloom, you got like a lot of uh, certain words that, you know what I'm saying, you can meditate on that comes around it, and she's actually holding the baby. Go ahead and hit the lights. All right, so I turn a little bit brighter so you guys can see the bay. All right, and as you can see with this one, I try to create the illusion of movement once the light flickers on and off, the eyes opens and closes, and it gives the illusion that she's smiling. So it actually creates the illusion of movement. If you could turn the lights on real quick, then back off. One more time. And one more time. All right. And that's this piece. Next in line is a tribute piece that I did to uh, or for Will Bell. It's a uh, local South Florida poet, pillar in the South Florida poetry community. And uh, this was my tribute piece to him. Um, it has certain words like bold, powerful, ambitious, gentle, which I thought, you know, were certain words that kind of Accompany uh, or encompass who he was as a person and as a poet. Go ahead and hit the lights. And as you can see with this one now, when it's lit up, you actually see an image of Will appear, you know, behind the sheet, and he's holding the microphone and the pen. And the quote in the background says, If a poem can live forever, so can the poet. Go ahead, hit the lights. All right, getting into the next series, you know what I'm saying, for all the hip-hop heads on out there. I did a series of donuts starting in 08, and um, not a series, but I did the first one initially, and then later on, like a year later, decided to make it a three-painting series of Villa Donuts. And this was the first donut that I did. I'll go ahead and hit the lights. All right, and as you can see with this one, it's got the J. Dilla with the fedora hat and the chocolate you know, a donut hill over his head. Yeah. This was the first one to go ahead and, and get this whole series jumped off and started. Go ahead. Next up, donut number two. All right. You know, this one, you know, we had a different color, and each donut has a different image of Jay Dilla, so hit the lights. With this one, you can actually see Jay Dilla and um, the... Blue and red, you ever fitted. We got a little uh, angel donut hanging on over here to the side. And it's actually, I like this one a lot because the image transitions really well on this one. I'll uh, go ahead and hit the lights. And the last and final one in the Dilla series was this one. And the image that's on this one, go ahead and hit the lights. Let's see if I can make it a little bit brighter so you guys can see. Is the actual image from the Dilla Donuts album. So, um, yeah, 
You got also another donut oil over here that appears on the side and it says Dilla Forever. Hope you guys can see that clearly. Alright, go ahead and hit the lights. Next up, kind of keep it in theme with the hip hop and the jazz because we got that blend in the background, right? Um, got a tribute piece to Lady Day. And um, what I did with this one, you know, is actually uh, I put an image of Billie Holiday that transitions on through. So, um, yeah, go ahead and hit the lights. Uh, all right. And one more time. All right, hold it there. Let me see. I can make this image transition a little bit better. Go ahead. All right. There you go. Now you're able to see uh, a clear image of Philly Holiday appear in the painting. All right. All right, go ahead with the lights. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, now I'm going to take a little intermission because I'm going to change the song. <laughs> All right, we're back. <laughs> All right, next up, we got a little hip hop going. And this piece right here is a tribute I did to the B Boys on out there for all those you know, B Boys holding it down. We got a B Boy doing a hollow back. You got the boom box underneath. And I'm about to put this to the light so you can actually see uh, how it lights up. And now you can actually see the whole skeletal structure of the b-boy you know it's uh, the heart he's got a b-boy you know i'm saying uh, an adidas sign there and then we got on the boom box it says hip-hop don't stop and the words funky pressure pill go ahead and hit the lights so you can see what it looks like without somebody want to answer that phone <laughs> all right Hardy wants a and um yeah one more time with the lights so you can see all right and that's that one all right, you can go ahead and kill the lights. All right, and we went on to the next one. It's a tribute to Notorious. And what I did with this one, I kind of played around with the image off the Ready to Die album and uh, flipped it, you know what I'm saying, with the Notorious with the preps on there. And with this one, as you can see, you got an image of Big sitting there. And it's got the little quote that says, think big. And it's got like another little mystery quote over here that says, who shot you? Because, you know, we never did find out. Go ahead one more time without the light. And we're with the light. All right, go ahead. Last and final piece that we are doing is a piece that I titled Sinistry. All right. And now with this one, you got the, the CEO, you know, behind the desk, he's got the pen, he's got the contract, and in the background you got, you know what I'm saying, the diamonds, money, gold and mic with the stripper on it, and with this one, when it transitions, alright, hold it there, so you can see a little better, now you can actually see his nails grow, you know what I'm saying, the contract now says your soul, you know, and instead of industry CEO, now it's a syndicy CEO. You got, got these souls floating in the background. And all the uh, Illuminati eyes appear on the dollar bills. One more time, hit the lights real quick. So you can see what it looks like without. And one more time, lights. All right. And, you know what I'm saying? That's this piece right here, kind of just showing, you know what I'm saying, the price that you pay for all this fame and fortune is your soul. Well, there you have it, YouTubers. Now you've been formally introduced to locks, the artist, and the style and technique of paintings that I do. Um, if you guys are interested in probably, you know what I'm saying, or possibly purchasing a painting, you can check me out on the Facebook link down below. Um, you know, rate, comment, subscribe, and um, look forward to seeing you know, a lot more, you know what I'm saying, on the art front, music front, and whatever else you know, I choose to do. All right, you guys, take it easy. Catch you later.